Viajero correspondent na si Margaret. Margaret, take it away. Let's go ahead and take a walk. Si Margaret ay isang full-time BPO employee, vlogger, and a mom of two. And of course, she's a proud Cebuano local. Oh my gosh! Ang pogi na kausap ko! <laughs> Vlogging is not your main job. It's not my main job. I, my main job is a trainer in a BPO. It's a back office here in Cebu. And I work, okay. yeah, full-time, nine hours a day, but... I still have time to work on content, edit it myself, and share it to the people. And I'm really glad that people still watch it, even though I'm not really popular. I have fun editing, even if I'm not really that pro in editing. I have fun whenever I record videos and share it to the people. They have scallops and they have sisig all over the scallops, so I'm gonna taste it now. Mm. <laughs> 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 the combination of sisig and scallop. But of course, if you are one group and you are 15 to 16, it's fine because you're living in the same household. Yeah. So the tram is per household. Iba di bang klase ng hayop ang matatagpuan sa 170 hectare property na to. Hanap ka ng animal na kamukha ko. I was challenged to pick an animal here in Cebu Safari and choose the best, the best resemblance kay Drew Arellano. So I think it's from wild animals to a wild ride, it's time for some adventure! Pwede rito masubukan ang pagsakay sa ATV through their jungle trails. Sarap balik-balikan. Ba? We should come back soon. Wow! Meron din silang napakahabang zipline. 1.3 kilometers lang naman. At nasa taas na 671 meters above sea level. Ang pasalubong mula sa Cebu ay ang gitara o ukulele dahil naroon ang isa sa mga sikat na gawa nito, ang Alegre Guitars. Now, sisilipin natin yan ng ating biyahero correspondent na si Margaret. Margaret, take it away. Let's go ahead and take a walk. Si Margaret ay isang full-time BPO employee, vlogger, and a mom of two. And of course, she's a proud Cebuano local. Oh my gosh! Ang pogi na kausap ko! <laughs> Vlogging is not your main job. It's not my main job. I, my main job is a trainer in a BPO. It's a back office here in Cebu. And I work okay. yeah, full-time, nine hours a day. But I still have time to work on content, edit it myself, and share it to the people. And I'm really glad that people still watch it, even though I'm not really popular. I have fun editing, even if I'm not really that pro in editing. I have fun whenever I record videos and share it to the people. Sinasabi ang mga Kastila rin ang nagdala ng gitara sa Pilipinas. 
at natutunan ng mga Cebuano ang paggawa nito mula sa mga praile. Sa kasulukuyan, isa ito sa malalaking industriya sa Cebu at isa ang Allegri Guitars sa pinakakilala. I started sometimes in 1992. 1992. Yeah, but I learned the art since I was uh, young because I inherited that business from my father who is a guitar maker and luthier. How old? Actually, uh, when I was born, my environment is guitar. <laughs> And so, pinaglapihan ko na. Yeah, so you could just imagine the day-to-day -day activities. When you walk up, it's one pattern. You go down to your shop, you see this thing, see him working. So that's it, for so many years. Here at my back is kanyang mga inner case, or inner, inner mga kanang parts sa guitars. Muna sila tanan. Sa kanilang shop sa Lapu-Lapu City, makikita ang paggawa ng mga gitara. Mula maliit hanggang malaki. Mura hanggang sa mamahalin. Pero para sa mga hindi mga daday rito, makabibili naman mula sa kanilang online shop and it will be delivered straight to your doorstep. I'm going to be trying this out. How much is this? No, oh, mga 16,000. Oh my God! <laughs> Guys, this is a 16,000 ukulele. I need to take care of this. Ang mainam sa pasalubong na ukulele, bukod sa pagtugdog nito, maganda rin itong ipang-display, di ba? Narito ang ilang tips kung saan ito magandang ilagay o display. Sa gilid ng TV o katabi sa pagtulog. Kayo nang bahala. Basta ang mahalaga, this will remind you of your time in Cebu. Another fun thing to do, lalo na this side of Cebu, is to enjoy the good life. Sakay ng isang yate. Kaya yeah, Margaret, may challenge ako para sa'yo. Mag-selfie ka na parang ikaw ang may-ari ng yate. Ha? Okay, Drew! Kayang-kaya ko yan! Welcome to San Vicente! Sa Seahorse Houseboats and Yacht Rentals, pwedeng malibot ang iba't ibang lugar around Lapu-Lapu City in style. Ang isang package tour nila, kasama ng island hopping at ang pagpunta sa iba't ibang beach resort sa paligid ng Lapu-Lapu City. Kung hindi mo naman trip magpalipat-lipat ng island, sulit din ang stopover style you can swim with the fishies while waiting for the island hoppers to return to the yacht. Okay guys, so we're going underwater and we'll see if the fishes will come close. Challenge ko sa'yo, mag-isip ka ng isang Cebuano sentence at i-video greet mo ako, please. Maayong gabi, Margaret! Ay, maayo kaayong Nichon Cebu. Eh? Pero ang pinakapanalo for me ay ang experience ng Sunset Cruise. Dito, makikita ang Osmeña and Fernand Bridges na nagkoconekta sa isla ng Cebu at Mactan. Kakaibang view yan ng mga tulay na ito, Bejeros. Kudos to you for such a such a good sport and uh, just working your butt off. Thank you so much for doing this for the show. I really hope to see you one day and I'm really a proud Kapuso. So thank you so much, Drew. Send my regards to Ia, please. I will, you know what? One day I will visit Cebu and then I will give you a tight hug for doing oh this. Oh my God! I hope COVID isn't there anymore because that's still not allowed. Social distancing, of course. See you. See you one day, Margaret. Thank you so much. Thank you so much as well. Take care! Ang mga tulay na ito ay parang sumisimbolo sa papel na ginagampanan ng Cebu sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Simbolo ng ugnayan at ng katatagan. Para sinasabi na, Halika! Daan ka muna! At sigurado ako, Matapos ang pandemic ito, dadayuhin muli ang Cebu, hindi ng mga mananakop, kundi ng tulad nating mga biyahero. <laughs>